the overall industry is is just incredibly exciting. You know, it's it's obviously multidisciplinary. Uh, it's very intense, and you can find an expert in any field basically right down the hall. So from a scientific perspective, that's about as good as it gets. Um, very similar to academics in, in the sense that it's collegial. Uh, but I think the fact that we get to work on such, I guess, late stage or applied projects uh, and actually see a difference in patients is, is pretty spectacular. I was very torn going through my graduate degree whether or not I wanted to stay in academia or move into industry, but I knew I wanted to move in the direction of industry eventually because I wanted to be able to feel like I had that impact on the patient. We're not just doing experiments in the lab, uh, we're actually making drugs and when you see a patient respond, you know, that, that gives you hope. Right, that, that, that it's more than just testing and um, uh, cells in a test tube, rather it's an individual who has a family um, that gets to go home the next day because uh, you're helping them get better. We have uh, a fantastic group of scientists at Abbey, and um, you know what's really motivating to me uh, is being part of the scientific governing board, so being at the, at the high levels of thinking about AbbVie Science is how do we muster all this talent into a community of science that is not only on focused on solving problems and the projects, but uh, taking things to the next level. We have sort of a streamlined process now for onboarding new hires. You know, typically they will matriculate in with a number, basically a support group. So not just their supervisor, but a number of peers um, in allied functions as well as their own function. And that's very helpful. I think when new hires come in, it's great to hit the ground running, but it's also great to get an idea of all the different allied functions that they'll be working with in the next several years. So I think we've really put, put a nice system in place to, to get people going quickly um, and to really build their network so they can continue to expand and, and learn basically above and beyond their expertise. There is value in just being a scientist, being the thought leader, innovating new ideas, new products that we can move forward. However, if communication skills and the understanding of logistics is something in your background, we have mentors, training programs to help you develop how to be a great advisor, how to be a good decision maker, how to lead other individuals, inspire and pull them together. It's a hallmark of ultimately what's going to be an innovative environment, an innovative culture, where you get people from diverse backgrounds, diverse uh, points of view together, talking about problems, recognizing uh, perhaps that there's more than one solution to a problem, and then figuring out a way to work together towards the solution of the problem.